So it's Friday 10th of March and we woke up to this. It's a bit of a surprise. And normally we don't get hardly any snow at all now, nowadays. And we're very close to the coast, to the sea, which has a big warming influence. Uh, but uh, it was sleeting a lot yesterday, but it was all wet and stuff. I didn't think it would settle at all. But as you can see, it has. Probably about three inch, which uh, I know by certain standards isn't much at all, but uh, it is for here. Just to update you a little bit on the seedlings, I've got this little grow light thing here, my mate gave me, we, we got a job lot of paraffin eaters for his poly and they threw this in amongst it, it's uh, what was it, garland, it's a garland um, but uh, yeah, it seems to be working alright, uh, you can see it did get a bit leggy because I didn't have them under this originally but uh, that's charred and that's uh, beetroot, sort of various rates of germination, not best but it's not fresh seed and then just moving over here, these are Lolo Rosso, I need to get those pricked out actually, I should have done that a few days ago, but I'll do it this afternoon. I've got some 28L modules that they can go in. And they're moving up uh, Multisone Radish, um, so they, they need to go out shortly, next couple of days maybe. At the back is Spinach and then Peas there. And then up here, we've got um, Savoy Cabbage this side, and I think that is Kale, Curly Green Kale there. And in those two pots at the back, we've got Musselboro Leeks. You won't, the camera won't pick it up, but they are just starting to come through now. So, it's just a case of uh, when this lot goes, really. Guys, it's the 14th of March <clears throat> and uh, a few snow showers going on at the moment, although rain is forecast later on. We had heavy rain yesterday. March is turning out to be something of a pretty cool month. But uh, despite that, anyway, I've got this uh, little row of peas. This is a variety called Douce Provence. That's the first sowing. And I'm just going to, I've sowed some more, so I'll just keep. Uh, putting them in there and then um, I planted out some of these multi-sown radishes I've got just sort of interplanted between these um, shallots so I've got two rows one there and just there and I, again I've sown more so keep a successional thing going on I put these up galvanized hoops in as well because um, when we had that snow the other day it did press down on the shallot tops a bit they seem to be recovering but uh, yeah just so I can put the fleece back on because we're forecast potentially minus four tonight so I'm going to put the fleece back on over that bed anyhow. So just quickly in the greenhouse so I've moved most of the seedlings from the back of the back of the house in the back room there into here just because the light's better so again just um, chard these are all multi sown spinach these are the Lolo Rosso that I pricked out. multi beach, beets. Uh, beach, beets. Again, I'm going to sow some more very soon. And um, in here, let's see, we have the uh, kale and uh, savoy cabbage. And then I can just see these leeks. You might, you probably won't make it out on this camera, but uh, they're just starting to come through. The other thing I had to do yesterday. Because I was, uh, just going to spin around again, I was harvesting uh, some of the lettuces and um, I had a lot of aphids. So I've sprayed with uh, liquid castile soap and we'll see whether that's uh, cured them or not. Uh, today is the 17th of March and the uh, sun's shining just at the moment. We've had a lot of heavy showers, you can see there, it's, the ground's pretty wet. Um, I believe there was a. We, we were away the last couple of days, and um, I believe it was raining heavily, really heavily. As all the fields are flooded here. Anyway, I'll show you what I'm on with just now. So I'm going to do some fig cuttings. Uh, 
I'll just explain. I'm not going to actually film it because there's tons of videos on this sort of stuff. But basically, there's there's my fig cuttings. They've been kept in the fridge in cling film. I've um, sanitised my secateurs just to make sure I'm not transmitting any diseases or anything like that. I'm going to use um, coker coir. So you add four litres, it says on the instructions here, into this bag and then leave it, you know, till it kind of absorbs it all up, mix it up. And then I'm also going to use those um, plastic one litre plant bags as opposed to a plant pot. And I'm um, going to use this gel, it's a root hormone gel. Not used this before, so that's a new one as well. And then the top of the cutting, I've got this... Um, tape here it's a, um, it, it kind of sticks to itself so I'm going to wrap the tops to say maybe three inch of the cutting in this tape just to hopefully um, keep the moisture in the cutting to stop it drying out so I'll crack on I'll do uh, I'll get this coke coir mixed up and then um, I'll bring you back right guys so I've got the coke coir in these say these are one litre plastic bag they've got um, drainage holes in the bottom there if you can see that you can see the water spilling out there so they're definitely it's definitely moist enough like I said I followed the instructions and I've done seven because I think I had seven cuttings so the next step is uh, just unwrap these cuttings as I say these have been in the fridge to stop them drying out keep them fresh and again you know, you just when you're doing cuttings, you just want to make sure you got them the right way up. So anything that I cut, uh, a sloping cut that way, flat cut at the bottom. So that's the flat cut means that's the bottom, and you know you just get them the right way up. So then the next thing is just checking. Um, I snip a bit of the end off just to make sure that that wood. Again, this camera's not perfect, but I can see green cambium layer just around that edge. So that tells me that that's good, it hasn't dried out. And then what I'll do is, I'll get some of this um, tape. You don't have to do it this way, it's just... I'm going to try it this way. Put the tape on first. It's quite flimsy stuff. I've not used this uh, mate of mine gave this, actually. So kind of just put it round maybe the top three inches or so over that bud there, is the bud there. And just come back up. And I just kind of want to make sure that that top part is cut. You see it's just to help prevent it drying out. Because these are going to go in the house once they're, they're done. That should be alright. Okay. And then I've got my Clonex here. And we're just going to dip about two centimeters 20 mil or thereabouts but before I do that what you want to do is just I'm just going to scrape the um, the back just to expose more of the cambium layer you can see that green there now just like that, that should be fine. Okay, and then we'll dip that. That's probably more than, it's probably 30 mil, but hey ho. And then we'll put that into the uh, coca coir mix. Push it down. 
that's probably somewhere near bottom now and that's pretty much it right I'll do them and bring you back that's it then all done guys so like I said they're going in the house in the back room um, try and keep them out of the sun actually so I'm gonna I might have to reconsider it depends what angle the sun does come in our back I'll have to try and find if there's any, a place where it's more shady. I don't want them in strong sunlight. So I just need to keep an eye on them now and just, you know, make sure that the coca quite doesn't dry out or anything like that. And, uh, of course, I will update you as to what happens with these uh, in the weeks to come. That's it for this one, guys. Uh, what a contrast between February and this month of March. Um, February was really dry, cold, but really dry, so we were able to crack on with loads of work, get all these different jobs done. Um, but March has been really brutal. It's been some really cold nights and just lots and lots of rain. Like I say, the ground's saturated at the moment, so um, it, it's difficult to do things, of course, when it's like that. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.